Hi guys, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create a hologram effect easily in After Effects. Let's get started. To create this effect, you can use either an image or a video. For this tutorial, I'll be using an image of the Carbon Camry. On the image layer, I'll start by applying the Venetian Blinds effect. Set the transition completion to around 30% and change the direction to 90 degree. Now apply the Turbulent Displace effect. Set the displacement to Horizontal Displacement, change the amount to 100, and reduce the size to 10. Then hold Alt and click the Evolution Stopwatch icon. In the expression box that appears, type Time Asterisk 300, this will animate the Turbulent Displace effect over time. That looks good to me. Now let's apply the Drop Shadow effect. Change the shadow color to white, or any color you prefer and set the softness to 200 for a smooth glow. The first step is complete, so I'll temporarily toggle off the image layer and create a new solid layer. I'll name the solid saber, and make sure its size is slightly larger than the composition. Once that's set, click OK. Now apply the saber effect to the solid. Saber is a free plugin that you can download using the link in the description below. Expand the render settings and set the composite settings to transparent. Then expand customize core and change the core type to layer masks. Now I'll grab the ellipse tool and create an oval mask like this. If you select the layer, you'll notice the anchor point isn't centered on the saber effect. To fix this, hold control on your keyboard and double-click the anchor point tool. This will automatically center the anchor point within the mask. Once the anchor point is centered, we can choose the saber look from the built-in presets. Let's also change the color, I'll select a light blue shade for the effect. Once we're done with the saber effect, we can toggle it off. Now I'll select the video layer and click track camera. Once the analysis is complete, I'll create a solid and a camera, placing them somewhere around here for example. Now let's drag both the saber and image layers above the solid, then toggle on the saber layer. Enable 3D on saber layer now. To ensure the saber effect is perfectly tracked, select the track solid layer and press P on your keyboard to reveal its position. Copy the position and paste it onto the saber layer. Next quickly adjust the scale, position, and rotation of the saber until it looks just right. Now toggle on the image layer and enable 3D on it as well. Make sure to copy the position from the track solid layer and paste it onto the image layer as well. Then adjust the scale, position, and rotation until you're satisfied with the look. Once everything is set, toggle off the track solid layer since it's no longer needed. Then let's check if the saber and the image are perfectly tracked. All looks good to me. Now let's animate the hologram effect to appear after about one second. To do this, we'll keyframe the scale property. However if you scale the image as is, it will scale from the center, which doesn't look quite right. I want the image to scale up from the bottom, or from the ground. To achieve this, select the anchor point tool and drag the anchor point all the way down to the bottom of the hologram image. Now when you adjust the scale, it will expand from the floor, giving a much better visual effect. Scroll to the point where you want the hologram to be revealed, then click the scale stopwatch icons on both the saber and image layers to add keyframes. Next scroll back to the beginning of the timeline and set the scale of both layers to 0%. Select all the scale keyframes and press F9 to apply Easy Ease. Then open the graph editor, right click inside it, and choose Edit Speed Graph. Adjust the curve to create a smooth, natural easing for your animation. Once you are done, close graph editor and enable motion blur on both layers and then we can check the hologram revealing animation. That looks good. Finally I'll apply a glow to the image layer using the Deep Glow plugin. I'll reduce the exposure until the glow looks just right. Then I'll expand the tint settings and enable it. Clicking on the color, I'll set it to a light blue to match the saber effect. We can also apply Deep Glow to the saber layer, then adjust the radius and exposure until the effect looks just right. Let's add some shakes now. I'll skip the shake setup part since I've already made plenty of tutorials on it, I have also created 16 advanced shake presets which you can get from the link in the description. Hope you found this video helpful, thanks for watching and if you enjoyed it, please give it a like.